and she got to buy it. <laughs> so this woman gets on the bus, pays the fare, begins to go to the back. I'm like, well, excuse me, ma'am, ma'am, are you gonna pay for the child? Totally ignores me. She, she turns to the child, she goes, you ain't tell Big Pink Lip you were six. I said, Pink Lip? I know she ain't, oh shit, she is talking about me. <laughs> I said, ma'am, the child is not six. She was like, well, he said he was six. I said, ma'am, he can't be six. I said, this little kid is 125 pounds with mustache and muscles. I know this kid ain't six. And then she turns to me and goes, well, his daddy is big and his birthday is tomorrow. I am paying for him. <clears throat> what you gonna do? I said, ma'am, I don't want no problems. Then she went to a little check. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? <laughs> yeah, and it's, I'm like, man, let me sit down, goddammit. Like, just sit down. And then she was sitting down, she's like, yeah, just do your job. Oh. And drive the bus. I was like, okay, that's the second candidate for the face punch. <laughs> that's the second one. This is where it got crazy, y'all. This is where it got real crazy. At this next stop. It was the high school. Oh. Oh, I ain't gonna say the name of the school. It was Julie. <laughs> These little girls was getting on the bus, right? They 17, 18, they flanked with me and shit like, hey, Mr. Bus Driver, how you doing, buddy? Ooh, you looking good in there, you're the form and shit. But they ain't putting nothing in the box, right? They just walking past. Little boys getting on the bus, right? They ain't flirting with them. They rolling blunts. We, marijuana, go on. Hey, Mr. Buttrop. You want something to eat, Mr. Buttrop? Disrespectful little motherfucker, right? Because they knew I wanted some. They know it. They saw it in my eyes. I was like, but I couldn't have none because of the job. But nobody's paying on this bus. So I just get up. I'm like, look, ain't none of y'all going to pay on this bus. Ain't nobody going to pay on this bus. That's when one of the little kids in the back said, your bus driver, <laughs> won't you just do your job and drive bus? I snapped. I had a can of mace on my side, right? I ran to the back of the bus. I sprayed all those little kids. I went to the back, like, Psh! They were like, oh my God, the bus driver crazy. He the ops, y'all. He the ops. Then it got real good to me, right? I ran up to the front to Charles, right? I ran up there, I sprayed Charles. Charles in the woods, like, oh my God, why are you doing this? I said, shut the fuck up. You can walk that off, Charles. <laughs> then I saw the woman with the little kid. I said, if I'm going out, I'm going to go out strong. So I'm going to the woman and the little kid, right? That's when the little kid jumps up, right? Now his chest all poked out and he got this dick voice. He goes, don't you be spraying my mom. I said, I knew you wasn't six. <laughs> So I sprayed his ass. <laughs> so apparently what I did was call him salt. <laughs> and now I'm at Second City doing comedy. <laughs> I agree I see the real life, that's my time, people. Uh, I see the real life, is that my time? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well that's my time. I'm Derek J, appreciate you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep that energy going for yourself.